So good to have you with me this week. Our word for the week is found in Psalm 4610, and it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Let me add something here. I'll be exalted in each of your lives in spite of the enemy that you're facing. Sometimes, you know, we don't realize that it's God's job to get us through and out of things. It's the devil's job to make things seem too big and too great and impossible. That's the devil's job, making what you're in seem bigger than what you're able to handle. And guess what? We bite into it all the time. We're like a fish going after the Lord and we get the hook. And even though we love God, go to church, we begin to, you know, we don't tell everybody, but in our mind, we begin to think, can my healing, can my money, can my marriage ever be? And oh, 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 and we find ourselves treading water. What does God say? Slow down, stop, be still. Come on, get refocused. Come on, your sickness is not God. Your lack of money is not God. You know, your broken down car or your partner with no furniture is not God. I'm God. And, and don't let any of that stuff talk to you and make it seem like it's bigger than me. He says, I will be exalted. I will be lifted up. God's about to be magnified in spite of your conditions, in spite of your circumstances. But take a step back and what you'll come out with is what I come out with. Devil, you're a liar. Circumstances, you're a false pregnancy. My God is God. And it's only a matter of time as I exalt him in the word. He's going to exalt my situation, and it's going to be an amazing breakthrough. I will be exalted in the earth. Look what he says. I will be. Not maybe, not might. I will be. Come on, say it with me. My God will be exalted in my circumstances. That's your word for the week.